All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and hopefully this new fucking Windows Microsoft Edge update isn't screwing up the computer. You know, I hit the record button, and then like my computer has like crazy hard drive activity for like you know 15 seconds or 20 seconds. Felt like a year, so it was really annoying. So anyway, I didn't do any research at all except this. Um, I actually retweeted this, but. I guess before we actually get into this, uh, this is actually, you know, how, like Scott Adams is the only person that I know of that's measuring for the hidden Trump voter. And look how much, look how much bigger it is, you know. So the people that say Trump versus Biden, assuming it's a computer poll, most people will actually say Trump over Biden by a two to one ratio. But the vast majority of people who are not saying shit is actually almost 50% of the entire vote. Granted, this is a Twitter poll, but, you know, whatever. Uh, well, the only thing it's in Glasgow. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. So everyone's suing. Suppose, oh yeah, there was a thing here that said, uh, oh yeah, Spike Service said that Facebook's going to get sued a lot. I mean, I hear about this a lot, but I just never hear about it. Here are the latest, last time polls of Michigan, uh, 18, 11, 1, 2, 13, 16, 15. Uh, and here's Nate Silver thinking the polls are everything, so obviously he's going to be proven wrong yet again. As we hope so. Uh, and then I've actually been going on Parler yesterday. So I was actually trying some different stuff out between Parler and Twitter. And just to compare and contrast. I, like, I still have to keep my shitty Twitter. But Parler is really, is really fucking good. Uh, the leader of the Groyper Uprising, for some reason, doesn't like uh, Parler. Thinks it's uh, just shit for some reason. Um, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, here I actually... Reply to Matt Gates saying, yeah, he should start a parlor account. So either way, uh, let's take what the hell? <clears throat> oh, man. You know, what's funny is, as long as Trump continues to see... Uh, excuse me. Continues to see these horrific numbers, a 22 cent difference. Is that is that actually 22 cents? Yeah. He's down 22% on predicted. I, oh man, you can imagine what's going to happen when, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of people are dogpiling against Donald Trump right now. All right, so uh, this actually looks pretty good. We're actually going to see that. Uh, all right, so let's let's see what happened. Uh, Bitcoin interest for this week is 10, so it's bad as it usually is. Bitcoin dominance 64.4 percent, 24 hour volume is 73 billion. <clears throat> wow, crypto is actually going down. 91.67 for Bitcoin, 43.14 for Litecoin, so it's actually going up a little bit. Uh, I am just so over waiting for the fucking bull run, man. I mean, at least it's not going down like a, a billion dollars like per second, but still. Uh, Doggy coin to 96.2 million market cap, and then Hive and Steam are going down in value because I'm trying to wind it down. I, ne I, I didn't realize just how much I hated that piece of garbage uh, coin. Like whenever I tell it to, like, like when I tell it to power down, it actually resets the power down. So it's constantly forcing me to keep the fucking coins in their shitty coin. Like a fucking scam coin. Fucking hate it. <clears throat> so next time, I mean, I should have, I should have, I should have uh, realized. Hey, wait a minute! I can only power down X, Y, Z for over, you know, whatever months. I should have known better. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so markets are down today. Everyone's losing their shit. Uh, so what's going on? Banks are after stress tests. Down your okay. Oh uh, yeah, I did. We did kind of see some hints about this, so we'll actually read about that today. Uh, bad action, strength of balance sheet show banks are in good shape. Uh, well, what the hell? It just said uh, <laughs> fucking fake more fake news. Um, stock portfolio. So everyone's getting ready for Joe Biden presidency. Uh, well, on top of that, people might also be uh, factoring in that Trump's not going to be president this year. So that's, uh, because a lot of people, because again, only Scott Adams is the only person talking about this, no one else. So people are probably assuming that, <coughs> that Joe Biden's going to win, uh, in a landslide. In fact, uh, let me see, uh, today. 
Throw off a uh, grifter, 16 hours, to an A. Um, 10 hours. No, is this, oh, wait, what's the name of this, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. okay. Um, oh, my guy's red. All right. I was actually trying to see if I could find last night's episode for the leader of the Group Uprising. I think someone must have, might not have uh, uploaded. Hey, right, six, to, six to avoid when doing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Fed is going to cap. I think that'll be mentioned in this article. But yeah, the Federal Reserve said they're going to cap side. Uh, they said they can't do stock buybacks and they cannot pay out more dividends. So it does kind of echo what's happening in two thousand eight. JPC coins at 7 to 8, nothing unusual here. 404 coin, 336 to 360, with light trading as always, because it's obviously very little supply. 2x2 two two coin, 68 to 70, even though the supply is not really going out of control. Um, but I think it's being affected largely by whatever everything else is happening out there in the world. Rix is still pretty stable at 201 to 221. Uh, again, not too bad. Um, <clears throat> Oh yeah, so I'm actually curious. What happens if I refresh this? Uh, standard crypto, like what the fuck? Like there's 60 views on this, on this thing, according to my backend, but YouTube says there's only one view here. Uh, it's correctly showing 50 views here, so it's like I don't know what the fuck's wrong. Like I really fucking hate this censorship shit. Uh, Jim Rogers, he, you know, he's a boomer asshole. Fuck him. Uh, that's a pretty nice icon. I might actually go with this icon. We're not going to read the article, though. Uh, of course. Uh, I'm going to hit the X button there. Experts debate. No, they're not experts. Is scam selling suppressing the... No. Straight post begin selling Bitcoin to customers. We already know about that yesterday. All right, so nothing here. Uh, Bitcoin getting more popular mid. More waning confidence in banks. Uh, <clears throat> since we're actually talking about banks, we should definitely read that. <clears throat> Wirecard collapses, not just as big coin crypto wells are pushing three altcoins higher. Search, uh, says set, oh, sentiment. I thought it said sentiment. That's a nice plan, sentiment, though. Um, all right, and that's it. There's not really much. All right, we went over Trump. I was there in Westcott, no, I uh, saw after Riley saying we have more uh, from COVID. Uh, this actually is pretty good, actually. I actually want to put this in my parlor account. Oh, yeah, that means I got to open up my parlor account, right? Uh, let me see. Let me figure out. Um, oh, man, you know what? You know, I'd rather just do it right now. Uh, Firefox browser, so we're going to go to... I'm going to actually open a parlor so I can start uh, parlor.com. Right. Because I do want to actually, because um, cause, cause since, since my parlor account does so well, at least in terms of views, it, at least it looks like it looks like it does well, I want to make sure I curate it. So I'm just logging in now. i got to not only log in, but I also have to delete all the uh, the information here. Enter the capture below QS. Uh, that's an M eight W C F capital C. Okay, now I gotta verify. Now hopefully it doesn't mind that I'm logging in through my um, through my proxy because I don't know what kind of protection they're using here. Uh, Okay, let me do that. All right, there we go. Uh, now I gotta figure out how to remove. All right, so the first thing I gotta do is make sure settings and privacy. Okay, very good. It does not show my shit on here. Cause the last thing I need is like fifty thousand people attempting to, uh, you know, trying to uh, <laughs> log into my fucking account. All right, I just got to clear all the login shit. Logins and passwords. No logins found. Uh, that's not what we're looking for. 
Okay, how about options? Uh, privacy asks to save. No. Do not autofill. Show alerts about passwords for breach of sites. No, I don't care about that. Autofill addresses. No. Address bar. Okay. Clear. Delete cookie. No, we don't want to delete cookies. We want to have clear history, block pop up windows. Where do I clear like my login data? Manage data? No, that's not it. Ask to save, saved logins. Well, it says I have nothing here. So, save logins. Eh, I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I don't know. If I clear the data, I have to like fucking log back in. Okay. All right, well, I mean, it says it doesn't show anything, so I, I, I guess it doesn't show anything. All right, go back up here. All right, so I think one of the reasons why nobody uses Gab as opposed to Parler is because you can actually see... Because um, basically, basically what we want is Twitter, but without the censorship. Gab has some, like, weird-ass shit that just, like... It's very hard to see your views, your upvotes, your whatever regabs or whatever, and it just sucks. It just sucks. And then they don't. Then the, and then he got rid of the hashtags essentially, which is just stupid, right? The groups don't work on Gab. Okay, that's why I don't use Gab anymore. Like I'm already getting way more out of this shit. All right, this is where all my views are coming in for this. Um, so yeah. So anyway, I do want to retweet this out. Uh. And then I gotta try using these correct hashtags. Uh, where is it? Uh, okay. Now I have to. Oh my god. Now I gotta wait for it. Because I just want the stupid URL. What's also important is that Trump is now going after uh, Biden's senility. Uh, and Scott M said that that's actually gonna be a big deal. So when they actually have the physical debates, like the presidential debates face to face, uh, it, it's gonna it's gonna be a really big uh, factor on Joe Biden against Joe Biden, which is why they're trying to push back the presidential debates as long as possible and trying to basically just let Donald Trump immolate himself because that's the that's the only way they'll beat Trump is if they just simply avoid it's it's just like Vietnam or the American revolutionaries in the Revolutionary War, right? You can't defeat the British, and the Vietnamese could not defeat the Americans in, like, head-to-head -head battle, right? So you have to just kite them around and run away and ambush attack and just, and just fucking just be annoying for several years on end, right? And, and, and then they just give up, all right? That's, that's basically what the Democrats are doing. Uh, hopefully Trump's smarter than that, uh, and I think he's finally figured it out. The problem is I don't know if he's got enough time to do anything about it. Uh, let's see, what did the thing say? Oh, uh, Joe Biden is slammed. I'm just going to steal his tweet. Joe Biden. No, let's see. Joe Biden's uh, senility and declining mental health on display. As he says, 120 million people died from coronavirus. All right. Now let's just farm the hashtags. Uh, you know, I haven't done this in a long time, you know. Uh, the only reason why I don't like this is because it's so fucking spammy looking. Um, let's see. I don't know. Where else would you put it? Joe, I don't know. How we're searching for Joe Biden? That's the, that's the fucking thing. Senility to climate mental health and display it. Is he, uh, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll put it down here. Because of the way they are... Shit's working. I'll just do that. Uh, <laughs> 120 million people died from coronavirus. You know, that's probably not nearly as bad as, like... Uh, I forgot. What's the name of that, uh, that really angry old black lady in California? I think she's in... Maxine Waters, that's it. I forgot what she said, but I think she said something like... Did she say that like we've lost over like 400 million jobs uh, this year or something? Or, like this was a while ago, but something to that effect. <laughs> like we lost more jobs and there are the total population of the entire United States plus tens of millions of extra people. 
<laughs> oh, no, 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 I think I know where this is headed. All right, anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll farm the, because it's because uh, they actually don't report your stats until like 10, 20 minutes later, which is fine. So Anyway, stock market uh, bus stress test failure, even though there's a Yahoo video at the front that says they're fine, so what the hell's going on? Okay, uh, big banks, including the big people, the Fed Federal Reserve said it stressed test results Thursday after market closed with strict dividends to share buybacks on financial companies for the third quarter. Uh, the move is intended to ensure large banks remain resilient despite economic uncertainty from coronavirus. Right, because you know, as as Joe Biden, as Trump begins to start hammering Joe Biden's mental health, uh, the Democrats could get even more desperate. So they're gonna. They're, they're already putting into place plans to do another lockdown to just to fuck Trump over. So, yeah. Like, it's, it's such fucking evil shit. I really just cannot wait to just start fucking putting them all up on trial for fucking treason. And then, you know, we'll, you know, like, the justice do its thing. Earlier during the regular session Thursday, financial sector had the S&P 500 after regulars eased constraints over certain bank investments, which has been implemented after first global law. Okay, meanwhile, further increases in coronavirus cases have partially like stirred up investor concern with signs increasing pointing on chaos, reopening process, governor of Texas. Oh, yeah, the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, I mean, he started out as a really strong Republican, now he's just being a cupped F word. So I don't know what the hell his problem is. New infections each of Arizona, Florida, also rose above recent trends of Thursday's counts. Uh, and we also pushed back the reopening of dates amid the latest jump in viruses. Uh, Apple added 14 stores in Florida to its growing list of store reclosures. After now, this week, they last week they'll be closing stores in blah, 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 blah. This, he said, it was indefinitely delayed as California Dean Party on past their earlier June, July 17th target. Well, at least the liberals are going to be taking some big hits here, so. Uh, Let's see, I don't care about consumer sentiment, and that's pretty much the end of that. So, what are they saying in this video? Oh, okay. So, this technically is not fake news. I don't really want to listen to the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> Banks are in good shapes to recover. Shake the balance sheets. Yeah, I mean, all they're doing, this is actually a precautionary um, action. It's not like, oh, the banks are already in trouble, we, 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 we got to panic. No, they're just doing a preventative measure. So this is actually fine. So it's, it's, not, it's not that big of a deal. Of course, the problem is people are just getting scared. And they're also realizing, hey, Trump may not win re-election. It's like, it's, I, pretty much a lot of people are just sure that Trump's not going to win re-election. I'm just unsure. I still think it's going to be a close election. Uh, again, uh, sooner Trump can get his his face out there, do more rallies, get more people, start pandering to his base. Uh, because basically white voters are abandoning Donald Trump like in by the droves. That's actually what's killing Trump, surprisingly. And, uh, you know, so Trump's, you know, he's going to have some time to fix that. That combined with getting in Joe Biden's face and says, look, you can't even, like, what, like, you don't, you can't even do simple math. You're saying 120 million people died in coronavirus. What's wrong with you? You're just mentally unfit to be president. You know, and then like, you know, all, and then Joe Biden will, because Joe Biden is just not quick on his feet. He's not quick on his feet and he's mentally unstable, right? He's the night, he's a nice man, but he's mentally unstable. So he's kind of like, you know, uh, your friendly grandpa, I guess, that just gives you like a hundred dollars in free allowance money, even though, and then sends it to you every week because he thinks, uh, <laughs> you know, it's not your, it's not the your monthly allowance yet or something. Okay? You know, his, his his poor mental faculties aren't all there. So as long as Trump can hit him really hard there, because at this point it looks like Trump just is incapable of doing the empathy route. So he's like, all right, well I'll just, you know, I'm an asshole, so I'll just, I'll just be, I'll just be a much bigger asshole, but I just make people choose between me, the asshole that knows what he's doing, kind of, or. The nice guy, old man that doesn't uh, know what day of the week it is at all. I never will. Ugh. There we go. Gotta get that burp out. This actually isn't such a bad color scheme, even though I'm not a fan of green here. Bitcoin gaining more public trust amid wind confidence in banks. Uh, that's a lot of people. It's 17 countries. Real is growing confidence in Bitcoin as people uh, don't trust old shit. 
tokenist did the poll in April. So this was right in the smack middle of Western coronavirus. Uh, Western as in like Western regions, right? I mean, China still had like their shit too, but obviously we just assume they're fucking, they're lying about everything, so. Uh, survey also found that 47% of respondents have trust big government, big banks, back in 20, da, 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 da. Oh, wow. Holy shit, yeah, this is really good. Gains in public trust, blah, 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 yeah, I mean, these are these people obviously don't have any money because obviously the stock market was just skyrocketing over the past three years. So it was just non-rich people losing confidence in it. So this is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. All right. Very good. Uh, what do we have? Uh, this is like thumbnail. Oh, man, I love this. This is a really nice thumbnail, by the way. So vi bright and vibrant. All right, New York regular proposes cryptocurrency overhaul to boost adoption of digital assets. Yeah, New York City is just fucking retarded. You know, it's like I actually cannot access like coin payments and all this other shit because of fucking New York. Specifically because of these fucking assholes at whatever this New York Department of Finance shit. Regulate states financial earnings probably probably how easy to notoriously tight restrictions on crypto related businesses. Yeah, fucking idiots. Under ancient current center, you know, crypto friend operating area, however, card have a bit less to receive, store, and blah, blah, blah. Trials, it can take years to obtain the thing. Only 25 firms. Yeah, it's like you, you're basically effectively banning cryptocurrency. Fucking idiots. To ease these licensing area and promote growth, they're now considering whether they should grant conditional licenses to crypto companies that will allow them to work with firms that already have an actual uh, now This is a step in the right direction, but this is just stupid. It just basically means you now have to fucking... Basically, this is they're just promoting big business. So fuck that. It centralizes everything even more. Fuck New York, man. I can't wait to fucking leave this piece of shit state. The regulator is blah blah blah. Fair can be utilized by a variety. Uh, the DFS expression can well never be. The regulator also a new guy that will offer the self serve to listen to new courts. Why they have the green light from the the self serve? They steer away from. And they steer steer away from privacy coin and token design for use in the gambling industry. Uh, yes. Uh, well, why is that design? I mean, it's a decentralized crypto, so you just use it for wherever you want, you know, so. And we're making video games, so, yeah, we'll be fine. Alright, that's a, that's pretty good. Alright, so, let's see, 22 and a half minutes. I do want to keep this shirt, because I want to go back to doing whatever I normally do. Uh, yeah, people are still actually going for this one. Here goes the shitload narrative. Yes, um, let's see. I don't know, has the data updated yet? See, the thing is, uh, I wasn't sure where to put this tweet. So I gained one new follower, so that's good. Uh, wow, this must be accruing a lot of views. So, yeah. Because I, I remember when I put this up, it went from nothing to like 200 after like 15 minutes. So, and I already have a new follower, so I assume that's probably pretty good. Two upvotes. Yeah, this thing's already doing... See, this is so much, this is so much better than fucking asshole twatter. Right, so... Alright, anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page, because we still are going to keep growing this channel despite, you know, fucking censorship here. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm done for the week, right? You know, because, you know, I had a lot of work to do. Uh, I don't know if I would have worked on my game today. I kind of want to just, you know, take a day off. I actually got. Elite Dangerous Horizons on sale, so it was cheap, seven fifty. So now I'm actually going through the grind of upgrading my fucking. They call it frame shift drive. But have you seen any science fiction things like the hyper drive, the jump drive? It's all the same shit. Just call it something different to avoid copyright problems. Uh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but it's 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 gonna be worth it though. So. Anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, so unless something major happens, I'll probably see everybody on Monday, right? You know, I'm just going to take some more time off, just try to relax, try and see if I can fix my sleeping problem. I mean, at this point, I think it's just simply because I'm just getting older, my body's losing weight, so I don't need as much rest. And my body's now adjusting to that reality. I don't know, actually, I, that's what I wanted to do. Weight loss, sleep problems. I just want to see if there's any correlation with that. Uh, insufficient energy, uh, weight loss. Uh, or who did not sleep well lost less weight than uh, who had no. Uh, well, that's probably not helpful. 
All right, anyway, um, yeah, so see you Monday. Thanks for watching, and always remember, Judson Chen, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. So for the most part, people are just panicking in general, uh, as they always do, right? Because they're like, oh my God, it's 2008 all over again. Oh, they're restricting dividends, blah, blah, blah. No, they're actually, the banks are actually fine. They're just taking preventive measures to prevent them from reaching that point. But of course, fear is fear. So things are basically back at the 25,300 Dow range. So basically, things are neutral. Like it is where, it should be where it is. Then things are not reopening as planned because again, coronavirus cases are back on the rise. So conveniently enough. So they're getting ready to do another lockdown. It's all bullshit. You know, tr people are panicking about Trump just losing in a landslide. And, uh, well, that's just uh, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, man. Uh, so we're just gonna have to see if uh, we're just gonna have to see if um, Scott Adams is really right about this, because there's definitely gonna be a massive hidden Trump vote. But the gap is so large, so I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you this though: once Trump can get in Joe Biden's face, and they don't do a digital uh, like a digital presidential debate. Like, if Trump is smart, he'll fight back against it and say, no, that's bullshit. There's plenty of social distancing. You're doing it on purpose just to uh, screw the election over. Fuck that. You know? Um, and then, uh, so once Trump gets in Joe Biden's face in a presidential debate, they are scheduled for, like, September 26th or 29th instead of this Friday. There was supposed to be one this Friday, and then they canceled it, canceled it, quote, unquote, at the last minute. So we'll see if Trump can maybe close the gap, like, 6%. Then you combine that with the hidden Trump vote, because I assume Scott Adams is still going to keep running these Twitter polls of his, like, you know, who are you going to vote for, looking for measuring the hidden Trump vote. Then Trump should actually, funny enough, would win in a landslide in that case. Uh, and then, let's see. But yeah, Bitcoin uh, continues to get stronger. I'm loving Parler. This thing's already doing really well. Um, oh, wow. This must have, like, a shit ton of views, because it still hasn't reported back the view count yet. Uh, banks are fine. Don't buy the noise. Though I guess if you want to buy stocks, that could be a good time. Uh, New York City is moving a step in the right direction, but barely. People are getting more confident in Bitcoin overall. And here is our thumbnail.